I'm going to show you a homeschool project that we're doing. We have been learning about the letter H, especially for kids that are really into horses. This is another great project. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you a homeschool project that we're doing. We have been learning about the letter H in our preschool. And so we're going to do a craft project all about the letter H and make it really fun, or in our kindergarten, I should say. Sorry, he's no longer in preschool. He's in kindergarten now, and I tend to forget sometimes. So for our kindergarten class, we are going to learn all about the letter H. You could do this for preschoolers as well, um, but I think it's gonna be super fun and Aspen is gonna be my helper today, and we'll show you what our H project is all about, and we're gonna learn, especially for kids that are really into horses, this is another great project. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and click that subscribe button if you are not already. Let's okay, do it. Okay, so what you're gonna need is two pieces of construction paper, one for your background, we did green, and then one for the color of your horses. I was gonna do brown, but I was out, so we opted for black. You'll need some string for the hair. So we're just using embroidery floss. You could use yarn. You're gonna need some popsicle sticks for the fencing. And then I picked out some googly eyes. You don't have to have these, but I always think they're super fun for Let's kids. Let's do the little ones because those ones are cool. Okay, you can pick or up the Or do you wanna do one. big ones too? It's up to you, it's your horses. Well, I don't know which ones I'm doing. Well, why don't we do the horses first and then you can decide what size yeah. of eyes to give them. You'll need some bottle glue. We just picked this up at the Dollar Tree. They had nice big bottles there. And then some sort of paint shirt. So we're using a big t-shirt today because the glue tends to get a bit messy. And I just want to- I don't get clothes. messy, Mom. I'm okay. You don't think you're gonna get messy? I'm okay. And then you're gonna need a small set of hands for the horses. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trace our hands and we need two sets of hands for two horses. You wanna trace your own hand? Can you do it? You wanna start back here and trace all the way around. Good job. You gotta get close to your fingers. You gotta watch, you can do it. I'll show you once and then we'll flip it over. You're gonna trace like this and you're gonna go close to your fingers. You see how mom's doing that? Yeah. You wanna go all the way around. All right, so flip your paper and then we'll we'll cut it out on the other side. There you go. All right, so do, do one hand and then the other. Oh, closer, there you go. Now go all the way down. Good job. Okay, so we switched out for a white colored pencil because we're using it. black paper and it was hard to see. Done. Okay, so after your little one's done, you may want to retrace, but they like to be very independent, but you may want to do a little bit of retracing so you can see. So we just laid his hand down and did it a little bit harder. You ready to do your next hand? You yes. gotta do your other hand on this side. Do you think you can do it yourself? Okay, good job. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Um, depending on your child's cutting capability, you can let them do it or you can help them do it. I'm gonna see how little these are. You're I'm getting your have sticks to... out? You're gonna need, uh, let's see. Three. You're gonna need nine popsicle sticks. Do you wanna count out nine? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. 
All right, you have your nine? All right, set them aside. We're gonna use those in a few minutes. Okay, so you're going to glue each of your, these are gonna be your horsies, and this is gonna be your head. This doesn't look like a horse. It will when you're done. <laughs> Do I like? All right, so we're gonna glue each of the handprints going like this onto the paper. Do I just put it on the back? Mm-hmm, just put it on the back. It's hard. It's not open. Oh yeah, <laughs> I closed it. their hair on and an eye. So what size of eye do you want? Their eye is gonna go down here. So what size of eye do you want? Why don't you pick your eyes first and then we'll do their hair. Got one eye for each of them, good job. And what a little bitty one. All right, go ahead and glue your eyes onto your horses. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut some hair for the horses or their manes and for their tails. You're gonna put a tail on. So we picked white since our horses had are black, we picked white hair so you could see it a little bit better. And I'm just gonna take some of this embroidery floss and I'm just gonna cut some pieces that he can glue randomly. <laughs> that he can glue randomly onto his paper and he'll have lots of variety of sizes to choose from. I'm just gonna get him, since he has two, I'm probably gonna cut up most of this. We're gonna cut them probably in about sizes this big um, and just make tails and mane out of them. And then I'll let him decide how much he wants to put on his horses. What we're gonna do is we're gonna glue hair on the back like a tail and then you can glue, I'll cut some smaller pieces and you can glue just right here. You're just gonna put some glue here and stick your hair in. Okay, so you're gonna put glue all right here. And then you can glue right here and put some hair. A dab of glue right where the tail's gonna go. That's good, that's good. And you can use the cap to kind of spread it. And then we're gonna put some right here as well. Ready? And he can put the hair in. Nope, that's the tail, so you want it to hang down. Like that? Mm, like, I'll show you the first one and then you can do the rest. Like that. And you can use your popsicle stick to, like push, it to push it down, yeah. Good job, and just leave it, it'll dry. Now you can add some more. Add some more hair to your tail. Okay, so he has his tail done. Now he's putting the mane on. And we're just gonna, just go, watch. Just go flat. Right there. Oh, might want to grab your popsicle stick. Yep. There you go. It's a little messy, guys. I have two that are autistic, so if you have children with sensory issues, this may be something they're going to need a little help with, but I think we'll still enjoy. They may need help with the so glue. We're like going to do this, this, and then you get to glue it. Like no, this. No, we're going to do the fence like this. Watch. We're going to go one, two, Three.
Now, do you want to take your white colored pencil and put some little dapples? You can put little spots on your horses if you want. Good job. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Here's a way to make it work. Ready? Watch. Watch. Spin it. And you can make little dots and dapples. All right, I hope you liked this video today. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the notifications for when my videos come out. And if you'd like to see more videos on how we do some of our homeschool projects and how our homeschool works, we are an eclectic homeschooling family, let me know in the comments below.